us the sign language for wisdom and prudence. You make a hook on your hand and then it's like when your hooky you brain like this. When your brain is hooked up. What's the sign language for honest? This is the sign language for honest. Straight down the middle. What is prudence? Prudence is practical wisdom. It means practicing wisdom in it every day in life. How can you be wise? You can be wise it's by not touching your face unless you want to get that sick, which I don't think anyone wants to. How can you be wise? You, you can be wise by eating healthy food and not bad food or too much candy because you might get cavities. Why is it important to tell the truth? Because um, if we don't like, if we like to teach her, we will get in really big trouble and we will, and we will get in more trouble at home and our teacher and our grown up not put behind, we always have to tell the truth. We always can tell the truth and be honest so we can be safe. How can you be wise? It's wise focus on your work because you can learn something. You want to tell us about honesty? It's good to be honest so people can believe you and be your friend. It's wise to tell the truth about when you're being sick because if you lie about being sick and next time if you are really sick then you and then they might not believe you. Why is it important to tell the truth? If you lie when you're gonna get in trouble you will get in more trouble and they won't trust you. Why is it important to be honest and lie? My friends like me. Ah. What do you want to tell us about um, uh, wisdom? Wisdom is doing the right thing, right place and right time. What's some way that we can be wise? Well, you don't stay up all night because if you stay up all night, um, then when your mom wakes you up, uh, then you'll say, I don't want to go to school anymore because your brain would be all uh, foggy and uh, not paying attention. How can you be wise? You could be wise by listening to people that you trust and like your family and friends and if they're telling you something very serious you could listen to them and you could like talk to them and trust them when something's going on how, how can you be wise you can be wise by listening to the teacher directions so you can know what to do at the fun activity we're going to talk to you about getting in the zone. You want to be in a green zone because that's when you make wide decisions. That's when you're calm and chill. The blue zone means when you're tired, depressed, and you feel like you're going to give up. The green zone is when you're calm and chill. The red zone is when you're um, mad. So mad you feel like you want to explode. One way that I get in the zone is take some deep breaths. Breathe through your nose, not through your toes, not or not through your elbows. Just breathe through your nose. If you're in a red zone, if, if you feel like you're going to explode, it'll be wise to calm down when you say and do anything. What can you tell us about honesty? Honesty means you have to tell the truth all the time. And when I was reading the story, um, the little girl um, was calling fire. And the fire department didn't say no fire. And 
and the um, little girl said, fire, fire. And the um, fire department said, little liar. Can you be honest? By telling the teacher the truth when you get in trouble. Because the consequence will be worse if you don't. What do you want to tell us about wisdom? Wisdom is where you know where to, when to do the right thing, right time, and the right place, and the right person. For example, um, like let's say some your it's a person's birthday, and uh, before um, you can say surprise or sing happy birthday, they scrape their knee when trying to come in. It's not. You might want to try to wait or just try to think about what happened before saying, surprise, because then they might be crying or they might be really injured. You got to be intuitive to like know when it's the right time to do something. Intuitive means you're reading people's feelings and thoughts without them having to tell you. And that can help you be really right, wise to help you know what to do in a situation like that. What's one way you can uh, really be wise? If you're really wise, then you can figure out that, that someone's telling the truth or not. What can you tell us about honesty and prudence? Honesty and prudence is basically like, when you say you're sorry, you actually got to mean it, because if you really don't mean it, that means you're telling a lie. What can you tell about um, honesty? And from the little boy that cried wolf, he kept saying there was a wolf when he was bored, and he said it two times. He lied two times about the wolf, and then a wolf actually came, and then the people didn't care because they thought he was lying again but he actually could have died and Matilda she kind of did the same thing but she, she said her house was on fire and then when her house was actually on fire nobody came and her, her house burnt up and the both of the stories they both lied but when they what when a thing actually happened Nobody believes them because they both lied. It's important to tell the truth. Because if you don't tell the truth, natural consequences will happen. Why is it important to tell the truth? Because <clears throat> when you tell lies, it'll, it'll hurt other people's feelings. And when you tell lies, it's going to hurt the teachers. To tell the truth. It's important to tell the truth because as like if you lie, I, that's bad also. So um, like if you broke in a very expensive vase, you'll get in trouble, but not that much, I don't think. So anyway, hey, if you lie, I, you'll get in even more trouble. Also, it's bad to just lie and, hey, anyway, even if they don't find out. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us about honesty and prudence? Don't lie.